You come along, tearing your shirt, yelling about Jesus. Jesus. Where do you get that stuff? What do you know about Jesus? Jesus had a way of talking soft and outside of a few bankers and higher ups among the convent of Jerusalem. Everybody liked to have this Jesus around because he never made any fake passes and everything he said went and he helped the sick and gave the people hope. You, you come along, squirting words at us, shaking your fists and calling us all damn fools so fierce the thought stoppers over your lips. Always blabbing, we're all going to hell straight off and you know all about it. I've heard Jesus' words. I know what he said. You don't throw any scare to me. I've, I've got, got your number. number. I know how much you know about Jesus. He never came near clean people or dirty people, but they felt cleaner because he came along. It was your crowd of bankers and businessmen and lawyers, hired the sluggers and murderers who put Jesus out of the running. I see the same bunch backing you, nailed the nails into the hands of this Jesus of Nazareth. He had lined up against him the same crooks and strong-armed men now lined up with you, paying your way. This Jesus was good to look at, smelled good, listened good. He threw out something beautiful, from the skin of his body to the touch of his hands. Wherever he passed the line. You slimy bunk shooter. You put a smut on every human blossom in reach of your rotten breath, belching about hellfire and hiccuping about this man who lived a clean life in Galilee. When are you going to quit making the carpenters build emergency hospitals for women and girls driven crazy with wrecked nerves from your gibberish about Jesus? I put it to you again. Where do you get that stuff? What do you know about Jesus? Go ahead and bust all the chairs you want. Smash a whole wagon load of furniture at every performance. Turn 60 somersaults and stand on your nutty head. If it wasn't for the way you scared the woman and the kids, I'd feel sorry for you and pass the hat. I like to watch a good four flushes worth, but not when he starts people puke and calling for, the and calling for the doctor. I want a man who's got nerve and can pull off a great original performance. But you, you're only a bug house peddler, second hand of the gospel. You do phony imitations of the goods of the Lord that Jesus wanted as free as air and sunlight. You tell people living in shanties Jesus is going to fix it up all right with them by giving them mansions in the skies after they're dead and the worms have eaten them. You tell six dollar a week department store girls all they need is Jesus. You take a steel truss walk dead without having lived, gray and shrunken at 40 years of age and you tell them to look at Jesus on the cross and he'll be all right. You tell poor people they don't need any more money on payday and even if it's fierce to be out of a job Jesus will fix that up all right. All right, all they gotta do is take Jesus the way you say. I'm telling you Jesus wouldn't stand for the stuff you're handing out. Jesus played it different. The bankers and lawyers of Jerusalem got their sluggers and murderers to go after Jesus just because Jesus wouldn't play their game? He didn't sit in with the big thieves. I don't want a lot of gab from a bunk shooter in my religion. I don't take any religion from a man who never works except from using his mouth and cherishing any memory except for the, the woman, woman on the American, American silver dollar. dollar. I asked you to come through and show me where you're pouring out the blood of your life. I've been to the suburb of Jerusalem, they call Golgotha, where they nailed him. And I know if the story is straight, it was real blood ran from his hands and the nail holes. And it was real blood spreading in red drops where the spirit of the Roman soldiers rammed in between the ribs of this Jesus of Nazareth.